Krista Ralakshmi Ditten coming to you from San Diego and congratulations. Today is day 29 of the Holistic Abundance Challenge. Welcome to this uh, beautiful another chapter and I call myself Abundance Anthropologist believing that each one of us we have a hidden treasure box inside of um, us and my uh, journey and purpose has been to guide people to those boxes open them up and find the talents in there. Activate those talents, activating the holistic abundance and manifesting your inner fairy tales into the dreams on your terms. Welcome to the, today's topic. And I see Eha is already here. So I have a very special day today because um, first of all, it's my son's birthday. And um, it's really amazing to think back to um, this uh, whole journey with him and being the mother. And 23 years ago, that was the day when he chose to come to this earth. And it has been a really, um, uh, I could say, rich and different kind of journey <laughs> in so many ways. Um, he has been my big gift and big anchor throughout all the challenges and um, joys and also sad moments of my life and uh, every one of you who you are a mother or a father you know what i'm talking about so it's really really amazing um to have that gift um in my life and that i can be a gift uh, to him as well so um i want to salute to all the parents in the world thank you for all the hard work you are doing and all the beautiful new young people you are raising. So um, thank you so much. I see you also here, Kerner is here. So today's topic is about um, energy work, inner family and how it's all connected to holistic abundance. So one of my favorite topics and um, it's really hard to kind of like figure out like what's the most essential to kind of bring out here because I could talk about this topic for hours and days. Um, it's also probably because I worked with this uh, maybe the most of the years of my life, you know. So uh, if I go back in time and people have asked me like, where did you start to discover your like, you know, different kind of psychic abilities and like, where did that start? So I have to actually go back in uh, to year 1995. Um, I was actually studying in Tallinn uh, to become a secretary. And as I was studying, I started to kind of scribble a little uh, picture and it came like, it looked like kind of really um, like, kind of like an angel. And then I turned the other side and started to write the story about it. And um, that angel kind of gave the, you know, the whole poem about who she is and what she's doing and so on. And at the time, I I didn't really know much about it. I, um, I was very kind of, I, I grew up mostly, you know, kind of having adventures in the nature. So it was very natural to me. I knew that, you know, um, world is bigger than what you see. And I had also read lots of books, but um, that was the time when I also got to uh, start to read, you know, Tantra books as well, you know, uh, Silver Method. And Silver Method was one of the most fascinating beginnings, which um, I realized like, oh my God, we can like influence our subconscious and then we can influence the outside world. And I started to do those exercises, which were um, in this book I had. And what happened was that my outside reality started to change like in like no time. And um, I started to win things and I started to go th to places which I never did before. So it was really um, very, very interesting to see how like uh, minor things already like changed my outer reality. So so this was like kind of uh, the very, very beginning of it. And um, prior to aura transformation, I actually um, did a whole section of angel therapy when, you know, I was in South Africa and I was guided to uh, Daniela Lee and did all of her classes, becoming um, aminologist, the angel therapist and starting to do and help people through the angels and through that angel therapy work. And um, as I got into our transformation, what happened was that um, basically 
uh, you know, uh, I realized that, okay, I can't do it this way anymore. Uh, because when you do the aura transformation, your spirit energy and your body kind of, you know, go uh, uh, start to unite. So the angels, which were kind of outside before, they are now kind of like inside of you. You connected with them like uh, right, like right away. You kind of one with them. So it's kind of like different and you can't kind of work with angels the same way anymore. So I realized when I started to do aura transformations, I of course had no idea how um, it is like the most correct way to do, but I was really willing to learn because I really loved the energy and how quick it worked and you know everything what came out of it. And I remember one of these first aura transformations I did in Estonia, I started to do the process as my manual was saying, and then I start to see these different pictures coming up in different, you know, chakra areas. And I started to go through this and I started to see like, okay, um, this is uh, really interesting, but I see a bowl with a little goldfish in it, uh, in your heart chakra. I have no idea what it means, but I feel that I have to share it with you. And then he tells me, uh, that's so fascinating because my wife just gifted me, you know, uh, this little goldfish in this little bowl. And um, uh, I kind of, you know, uh, the poor fish actually died some days later, you know. And um, then I realized what the message was in her heart, in his heart chakra was basically that uh, his husband, uh, his wife, was thinking that, you know, uh, uh, the, the husband is basically like a goldfish is, you know, um, endlessly just fulfilling uh, her dreams and, you know, doing whatever, you know, uh, she wishes, which he didn't want to be in that position or in that role that way anymore. So there was a conflict and that's why also the fish died, you know. So um, I realized like, okay, this information is very important. So probably spirit and energies are giving me this information. So I have to like really trust it. And uh, even when it feels the most weirdest thing, you know, I have to, you know, uh, share that with the client. So as I was going um, and doing more and more of it, I started to see like crazy stuff and seeing connections. And, you know, it, it was like, um, the whole invisible world kind of like opened up, you know, uh, showing uh, different ways th things are connected and how people manipulate behind the scenes and uh, how many of the people who are actually doing energy work are actually manipulating behind the scenes, you know. So um, one time I started to get um, clients who came and um, I started to feel really weary early about them. And um, I realized they have been sent by other, you know, uh, spiritual healers or psychics to check out like what I do and kind of put like, um, uh, you know, like uh, invisible bugs to kind of follow up like what I do and how and so on. And of course, because I uh, see it all, I could see it and it wasn't possible, you know. And also many of the uh, uh, people who are working with energies in the old energy, they started to see me as a threat because when people came to do the aura transformation, they didn't need to go back to as many sessions as, you know, um, oftentimes in the old energy, you would um, have to need to go, you know. So they saw me as someone who would take away their jobs, you know, so to say. There is, of course, always enough for everyone, but they kind of like saw it that way. So, um, so I started to have lots of times also psychic attacks. So how is that going, you know? Um, it's sometimes, you know, someone is projecting some negative energy on you and then you start to realize like, you know, uh, bad stuff starts to happen, you know. I was in the uh, traffic and all the time um, I got someone like hitting me or scratching me or, you know, uh, the car, um, you know, so the car got injured, kind of like um, damaged all the time. And once I was like, I think within a week, there was like five incidents like that. It's like, wait a minute, I have to see like what's going on. And I actually, you can go and track the energy of that person who has put it on you and you realize like where it's coming from. So I tracked that person and um, uh, we went to actually 
meet that place where that person was living and so on and I went with another psychic friend and um, this um, person was actually projecting on me um, to kind of like buy a really expensive uh, house at the time uh, so that I would be part of uh, you know that kind of like community and stuff and then my psychic friend and I we went and walked around there and we saw a story coming out like okay if I choose this like how is this going to kind of spin out and it was just crazy it was the craziest thing so I knew that I have to run from it as far as I can but um, uh, I don't remember if it was prior to that or later but basically that same man was also actually trying to uh, do some other things um, uh, during one uh, like healing session and so on. So oftentimes also when people don't check who those people are who are working with energies or spirits or whatever, there is like all kinds of like crazy stuff which can happen. And if you go to a wrong person, you know, it may take a year or two years to cleanse you and like, you know, restore the balance. So it's it's really, really important that you trust your gut, you trust your intuition, your inner woman um, with that matter. And, and then you can, you know, make those choices and stuff. So and then. Uh, psychic attacks is it can come like this and it can come also that you know at night time you can't sleep because sleeping time is usually the time where you are most vulnerable so um, this is the time psychic attacks often time happen and um, you just can't sleep or you start to like feel things and I have like had like craziest things not only feel things but you know nightmare kind of style you you can't move and then you you know start to see things and feel things and so on so um and then also how to figure out like how to protect about those things and what to do um so you can you know uh, be protected at all times as you are in the new energy of course your protection is already uh, much uh, stronger because your spirit body is like sometimes you know um uh, can be like in a, a difficult situation or dangerous situation your spirit uh, your balanced body can actually like kind of stretch out for a moment like half a meter or a meter even you know so um it's much stronger but of course there is always danger that you know someone will want to uh, check you out and like figure out like what's going on and so on so as I um, was going on with the sessions doing aura transformations and stuff so I realized also um, um how I could put more in use all my abilities so we have also the ability of um, you know they call uh, different names for that but so um, uh, the one where you basically you start to smell things uh, so there was a lady um, I was doing aura transformation and uh, I smell this like uh, smell of paint and um, I asked her like what what is this connected to and she was just um, in the middle of renovating her apartment so really really interesting so um, the other time I saw um, one of my clients uh, wife was putting her feet um, onto his platform you know everyone has their platform so and um, uh, he couldn't understand why uh, he felt so weird and why things were like kind of you know different and so on so in that session we had to remove her um, feet back to her platform and uh, without even telling her at home uh, going to bed her wife was asking like oh my god <clears throat> something is so weird like what happened what what did you do and um so we we are energetic uh, energy beings you know so we feel those things but oftentimes you're like oh that's not so important you know uh, so one is um, smell and then you can also have taste so um, a certain person come and I can start to have a taste in my mouth you know uh, if there is a smoker I can start to feel like I've been smoking you know um, or if there is a certain thing or something else you know which is going on I can start to uh, like taste that you know and then um, is um, the clear sentient so you really start to feel things very strongly um, you can't really you know uh, maybe even describe or explain them but you just feel it very strongly uh, clairvoyance is when you see things you start to have visions very clear pictures uh, may come 
So there are so many ways your abilities are actually uh, willing to serve you. And that's where the inner family comes in because inner family can uh, help you with all of those levels, you know. So when we take inner child, inner child is always there um, to kind of take care of her uh, or his own, um, you know, security and safety. And uh, uh, he or she is working really well together with the inner man whose main, um, you know, uh, task in that situation is basically to take care of you and also protect you um, in so many ways. So um, he may actually, you know, uh, send you a message or you see something or you understand something is out of the ordinary. It's always, you know, a warning sign that, okay, be careful. And I also have noticed that if something is not going to the way it's supposed to go, you usually get free warnings. And um, this is how spirit is kind of, you know, uh, uh, trying to help us too. And these warnings usually also come through your inner woman. Inner woman is everything to do with intuition and you just have that gut feeling. You shouldn't turn to that street or you shouldn't go that highway or freeway. You should like choose another, you know, route. And um, that's when you basically, you know, all of these um, energies, because they see everything at the same time, they come in and they start to communicate through your inner family. So the sad thing is that most people don't believe in psychic abilities, don't believe in anything, you know, outside of their what you don't see with your eyes. And then, of course, they have no idea about the existence of inner family, so they don't even communicate with them. And then they are surprised why so many bad things happen to them because they never listen, because they never, you know, work um, with their world and universe as a holistic thing, you know, um, because when you do, um, you will get the warnings on time. It will save you time, money, and also sometimes, you know, uh, damage and stuff, because um, you are just in the right place, right time, and um, you are more protected. And um, one of the ways I also felt after our transformation, as I was going through, you know, uh, indigo energy and then um, so indigo energy here and then crystal energy as I was getting into crystal energy basically um, the protection around me and in me got stronger so sometimes I started to hear about uh, different people who were actually you know uh, trying to do something bad towards me but uh, it didn't even come to me uh, maybe later because the energies and my own inner family, everyone was so protective and uh, they managed to eliminate uh, that threat already far away so that it didn't even come into my life um, anymore. And as you go from crystal energy to golden energy, that protection energetically will get even stronger. So, um, and it's uh, basically like, you know, uh, when you get the transformation, then uh, it feels like, you know, your inner woman is kind of, you know, talking and, you know, maybe still whispering. But as you grow in the energy as well and, you know, unite with your spirit and body, then uh, all of these uh, messages will come straight and more forward and stronger and louder as well. So um, now if there is something I'm not supposed to do, um, it's basically like, um, everything will be organized in such a way that I can't do it, you know, uh, whether it's the car, car won't start or, you know, uh, there is something else which happens, which is like, you know, eliminating the way of going anywhere. So uh, one of the times I remember we were going to uh, our retreat in Estonia and uh, we kind of headed out a good time uh, uh, ahead. And as we were filling up the car uh, before leaving the uh, town, uh, Michael was like, um, I don't know where that other bag is, where there was lots of like food supplements and like really important uh, things we needed. And we were looking and we couldn't find it. It's like, yeah, what to do? We have to go back, which was like, you know, half away one way, half an hour other way. So we lost like one extra hour. But what to do? So uh, we went back, we went home and that bag was not there. And then we realized we changed the bag to into another bag. 
and um, we were a little stressed but I knew that there was divine timing going on and if we maybe would have gone earlier we would have been in an accident or something would have happened so uh, all of these things especially if you remember it's divine timing uh, don't stress you know uh, it's going the way it's supposed to go then um, everything kind of goes um, well and uh, so basically how um, uh, the inner family is giving you those messages maybe sometimes you um, you know, see a car, um, there's a bumper sticker, uh, which can be a message for you or from your inner family. Can be also, you know, um, uh, something that comes to your mind, a TV show, um, advertisement, whatever, you know, um, it can be a message, you know. I remember when I worked with Daniela, um, Daniela is one of the clients was there and um, was kind of asking help about like whether to leave um, the partner at the time or not and uh, from the cards and the guidance was very clear that uh, she should uh, leave that guy and um, the guy's name was Mario and then when she was stepping out uh, outside uh, there was a big moving uh, truck uh, going in front of her kind of crossing the street and having the sign on the side Mario removal <laughs> is really really cool so uh, sometimes also you know spirit has fun with it because it just kind of confirms what you have been working on and then figures out a way um, to kind of confirm uh, that whatever you are uh, kind of like questioning you know so and um, so inner man can be sometimes uh, very like kind of um, uh, concrete and also precisive and also maybe even forceful about something I remember one time I wanted to do and go and have a, a lunch in one uh, yacht club in Tallinn and I knew that it's gonna be like you know maybe 20 minutes drive one way 20 minutes drive another way and the feeling inside of me and I think that was my inner man saying you know um, the place is reserved or closed today you can't eat there and I didn't listen, so um, uh, partly I also wanted to go and see if this is really working, you know, uh, if that's true. And then I went, and then of course it was reserved, so um, I couldn't eat there. So um, things like that, you know, you can sometimes also test, you know, when uh, they pop up, you can see like, okay, um, let me see, like, where does that go and is that so, you know. Um, if it's not really like screaming loud because when it's screaming loud it's really you know your life may be in danger so um, so energy work is basically it's one way to you know read the energies and information and whatever is out there which we can't see with um, our open eyes and this um, outside world or the invisible world is uh, so alive and so potent and so willing to help us and um, if we are willing to receive that help that help will be there and now when we also activate our inner family with this um, you know giving latitude and also possibility for them to express themselves then you know all of these uh, things will flow better and then um, as a result as well it will be easier to create holistic abundance also because you know maybe um, you are saved money because you don't damage your car or uh, maybe you know it guides you to the right place to the right person um, you sign a business deal or whatever you know you're there before someone else shows up you know it's about timing it's about you know all those little little tiny details which is like you put them all together and it's like you know fascinating how it all um, supports it, uh, each other so um, this is a really amazing topic and um, I would really suggest if you start to work with energy work find a really good coach um, who you really trust and who is authentic and real because um, I've seen also so many people when they start to work with energy work they have no idea what they're doing and you can do a lot of harm uh, when you just kind of you know playing with it it's nothing you should try out at home just for a play or 
um, an experiment. It should be something you really know what you are doing, you know. I had really amazing instructors and guides as I started with oral transformation as well with the angel therapy. So every step of the way when I needed guidance or reflection, they were there and um, that is so important. And also as a transformed person, I went to regular oral balancing sessions, which also oftentimes people who are transformed don't do. And I feel it's as important as, you know, uh, go and do the maintenance of your car, you know, regularly. Um, there are certain things which uh, we need outside help, um, you know, and that's why also this inner family coaching program, it doesn't actually matter whether you are transformed and in the new energy or not, but um, it will definitely help you to um, realize and understand that invisible world inside of you and also as you start to cooperate with it you start to build bridges also outside of you so like my own you know uh, story how the heck were i you know was i able to find my king out of more than seven billion people in the world because i was following the guidance my inner man and inner woman were giving me and most people were like crystal you're crazy what are you doing you're going with one way ticket to mexico to mexico it's so dangerous you will be killed you know and all those things and i didn't listen because i knew that something bigger is happening and i have to follow it through and it was so right so um that's also the courage your inner man is actually giving you to follow through uh, when you feel that this um, is really kind of strongly um, uh, there. And uh, doing the energy work, um, as I've done this now for so many years, I've got, of course, um, so many experiences. I have cracked some crazy situations and uh, stories, uh, people who have um, had like craziest stuff, you know, um, which like, they have gone to like five or 10 or even more people to figure it out and they couldn't figure it out. And they came to me and it was so clear. Like um, it's also when you are a therapist in a new time energy, everything is so clear. You don't have um, so much, you know, um, stuff which is like kind of uh, disturbing you. So you see things clear and you understand uh, the connections and things clear. And also as someone, um, if someone has practiced a lot, then you also, you know, it's like a muscle also, energy work muscle. So um, it kind of grows on you and you feel also more confident. So for me, working with energies and people uh, like that is basically really amazing uh, because what it does is it's like kind of being an energetic, like a Sherlock Holmes, you know, you go in, you have no idea what's going on and then you start to see the connections and uh, what's like stuck. And then uh, when also why I love to work with inner family, once you go in there, you start to see, oh my God, there is like, this thing is stuck with your, you know, ancestors. And then you have this stuff which happened to your uncle and this is connected here, you know, and um, then the steps will come like uh, how these things can be dissolved, you know. So um, I really, really encourage you to look into that, um, you know, train your abilities, find a good coach. And this is also why I would recommend to start with inner family program, coaching program, because then it will also show you more direct guidance, you know, also to your life missions. And as well, like if that is something, uh, you know, part of your life missions, you know, and uh, it's uh, such an amazing journey. So um, if you now feel more intrigued, so uh, sign up for the Inner Family program starting in February. Um, and let me know if um, you have more questions about it, um, $250 per month, four months in a row, and it will um, guarantee that it will change your life in so many ways. So today's tasks um, will be very exciting. So first of all, I would like you to um, think of all of these uh, different abilities. So 
clairsentient, um, you know, that's where you feel something very strongly, I have to do this, or this is my feeling. Clairvoyance, you know, seeing the visions or something coming to you. Clairaudience, you know, uh, listening to the messages. Um, so uh, clear knowing, uh, clear smelling and clear tasting. So uh, if you think of yourself, uh, what of those, you know, um, uh, abilities you already have um, and if you don't have any so which one of those would you like to uh, develop so um, it's a good kind of you know mapping of your abilities like psychic abilities so uh, very cool and then think of like maybe uh, free stories um, where you have got really strong um, message or intuition telling you what to do and when you have done it um, it has actually come out that you know um, you have um, saved yourself or there was a big accident after uh, two hours or you know um, there is always uh, stuff coming out connected to that you know free stories in your life where you got you know guidance not to go or stop or you know where you have actually been warned um, by your inner woman uh, and your inner child and then protected by your inner man and how that helped um, you to save you and also create more holistic abundance. So think of those three stories. And then the third one, uh, so if you feel like, you know, energy work would be something for you, um, what is it you feel would be the first step? How would you start it? Um, to work with this like um, is there a certain coach you would like to work is there a certain class you would like to do uh, what are those things um, you are doing and kind of you know um, uh, feeling calling for calling for so um, think of those things too so um, and that's basically it for today um, I hope this was um, amazing and uh, one of the best places to activate and practice energy work is actually Hawaii and um, this is one of the reasons also why I love Hawaii so much because it's so potent of energy and spirits it's like uh, the air is thick of it you know and um, because also for centuries people who lived there before like you know uh, true Polynesians and Hawaiians they were so connected to everything. Their uh, way of living is so holistic. Um, and every one of us actually has so much to learn from them, like the way it was uh, done and is still kind of, you know, kept going and uh, working with those cultural traditions as well. So, um, and that is why also one of the reasons why I love to do adventure retreats there because we get connected to ourselves and also energies uh, outside of our, ourselves. And there is always something really completely magical happening. So um, if that's also uh, calling for you, uh, check out the Hawaii offer for November, 10 days in a mag magical adventure retreat with me um, in Hawaii. So uh, would be really lovely to have you there too. So as always, um, go through the tasks, uh, share, subscribe and see you tomorrow and tomorrow will be the questions and answers uh, session last session so if you have uh, questions about today or the prior uh, all of the you know 29 days please don't hesitate to um, also send them prior to the meeting or come uh, live um, and uh, be there and uh, also one announcement, uh, 31st of uh, January, uh, we will not have the last uh, Facebook Live. I will postpone it to the 1st of uh, February for Saturday because I have uh, one class I'm uh, taking and doing and um, just with the uh, uh, San Diego uh, logistics and traffic, I have to leave so early that it wouldn't make sense. And uh, then I can also finalize on Saturday and uh, give you overview what I learned from that class and also a little statistics and uh, stuff uh, to wrap this uh, holistic uh, abundance challenge uh, all together. Thank you so much, uh, Mahalo, and all the best to you. Thank you for being here, working on yourself. Uh, so, so grateful. Mahalo. <laughs>